Hey everybody, how's it going? So I've decided to update my overhead shooting rig. Um, I don't know if you remember, made one a little, not too long ago. This piece is Shiat, just out of wood. And all I did before was just clamp my GoPro over top and put it over top of uh, my painting, which is what I use my overhead rig for is when I do like my painting and art. I like to make time-lapse videos of it. So that's my old crappy one that basically cost me nothing. Um, this new one I made cost me a little bit more, but it's fairly cheap, um, and I'll show you how I made it. So all I really did was steal ideas from Casey Neistat from his overhead shooting rig, and I used that to make my own. Um, his is more permanent. This one, I can take it down when I want to and adjust it. It works perfectly for what I needed to do. So basically all I did was I took some ABS pipe, the black pipe, I think that's what it's called. I got some from Lowe's, and that cost me about $40 in pipe and fittings. And I just took that and measured it. I gave it some legs, and I basically just used the couplings to join it all together and have an overhead pipe that ran across the top that I would use to hang my lights from and hang my GoPro from. And then I went to Ikea and I got the Hema cord set that you can plug a light bulb into. I got two of those, and I also got two of the Regal Lit um, pendant lamp shades, basically to use as diffusers. Um, to soften the light and they work amazing. The lights work really great All I really did was just take the light put it inside of the lampshade and then Wrap the cords around my top pipe and run them across and that's basically what's holding them in place And then I just plug them in and they work great. It's pretty it's a pretty easy setup Anyone can really do it if I can do it you can do it and it looks really good for the overhead shot um, It's even lighting for painting and look at this. I'm even using I'm using it right now for this shot and it's evenly lighting my face and I love it. It's so perfect. I think it is. It's like lights coming from both sides. I got my key and my fill and a little bit of my backlight from basically just my overhead light. And it looks really good. I'm really happy with the way it turned out and I think it's going to look really good for when I do some more art um, time lapses. I'm excited to try it out. The only really downside to it is it's not very stable, which is the price I'm paying for having it collapsible. I didn't glue any of the parts together so I could take it apart and put in new pipes if I wanted it higher or lower. But right now I think it's a good height. Um, you can kind of see the pipes in the shot a bit, but I can just crop those out. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out for the price I paid. So it was about $40 for the pipe and couplings, like I said. Cords for the light bulbs were $7 each. So that's another $14 and then $10. The lampshades were $5 each, so that's another $10 and I don't know. I forget what the light bulbs were. We'll just say they were $5 each, it's probably cheaper than that. But overall, this thing cost me about $75 to make and it is really functional for that $75. So anyways, let me know what you thought of this whole DIY overhead shooting rig 2.0. I love the lighting now. I was gonna buy like an LED light or a ring light to put uh, in front of me for when I do like these vlogs at the desk. But now I'm not gonna, because this looks amazing. I am so happy with it. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Uh,